All right, so let's look at this problem. Uh, we are given these stresses at its you know, original orientation. We want to know the equivalent state of stress on an element if it is oriented 30 degrees clockwise from the element shown. So, uh, you know, this one is shown right here, kind of x, y. Uh, but what if we wanted to know the stresses? Let me try to draw this. Uh, if this was rotated here with that new x prime, that new y prime uh, compared to my old one, I'm going to rotate that, what, 30 degrees clockwise. So here's my thing. What What is the new sigma x prime? What is the new sigma y prime? And what is the new uh, state of stress tau <clears throat> prime, or tau x prime y prime, <clears throat> all right? So, first of all, I really like to restate what we are given. What is the sigma x for this figure? What is the sigma y for this figure? What is the shear stress tau x y for this figure? Well, sigma x would be what is coming out of that face. Nothing. It is nothing, so it is zero. So everywhere I see a sigma x, I'm going to plug in a zero. Uh, sigma y is, do you see this, negative 300. Now, I should include my, include my units. I, I, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be in PSI. Negative uh, 300 PSI. And tau xy, and do you see why that's negative? Because that is pushing in <clears throat> in the y direction, negative 300. And then tau xy positive 950. Positive because it's pointed in towards that top right corner. All right. And then what angle theta am I going to plug into these stress transformation equations? If I want to orient it 30 degrees clockwise, I'm going to plug in negative 30 because the way these equations were derived, uh, theta is um, positive counterclockwise. So I'm going to plug in negative 30 degrees. Okay, so then it's simple as plug and play, right? My new x prime, y prime. Now, my old x prime, a, a, sigma x, is zero. Uh, I don't know if you might could kind of figure this out or visualize this. If we rotate it, some of these 950 and 300 might kind of be distributed, kind of get turned to my uh, x my new x direction, just because I have an old zero doesn't mean the new zero is also zero. Let's plug into these equations. The equation is sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 cosine of 2 theta plus tau x prime or tau x y sine sine of 2 theta. So my new stress would be 0 plus negative 300, careful with my positives and negatives, plus 0 minus negative 300 over 2 cosine of what? Negative 60, right? 2 times negative 30, plus tau xy positive 950 sine of negative 60. Okay. Now, if I were you, I actually don't have this in front of me, but I would get this value right here. I would get this value for that term, write it down, get that value for that term, because some of these we're going to reuse, <clears throat> especially in the sigma y. <clears throat> All right, but anyway, plug those in. Plug those in and get your new sigma y, <clears throat> sigma x prime, negative 898. PSI. Box that in. That's my new sigma x. My new sigma y would be, I don't know if I'm going to uh, do this over completely. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will. <clears throat> it's going to be the same sigma x plus sigma y, but instead of this plus here, I'm going to have this, I'm going to change that to minus. 0 minus negative 300 divided by 2 cosine negative 60. And then instead of that plus, I'm going to have that minus. 950 sine 
negative 60. So now if I had been keeping up with this number and this number and this number, I would just say this number now minus this number, now minus that number, All right? Because my sigma y is the same equation as sigma x, just that plus is now a minus, that plus is now a minus. All right, and then I would just get my values, my new sigma y prime, 598 PSI. 598 PSI. Last one, the equation for my new tau prime x, or tau x prime y prime, my new shear stress is ne negative sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 sine of 2 theta plus tau xy cosine of 2 theta. Don't you, I don't, my class doesn't have to memorize that. That's on our uh, equation sheet, our formula sheet. So you just have to plug in negative. Okay, what is sigma x? 0 minus negative 300 over 2 times sine of 2 times negative 30, right? The sine of negative 60 plus 950 cosine of 2 times negative 30. And this would get a tau, my new shear stress, 605, 605 PSI. So there we go. I'm looking for these new three stresses. Now, I could ask you to draw these stresses. <clears throat> All right, if I ask to draw these stresses, then I would want you to draw this square at this new orientation. You know, to show me that this face, this X face right here is now right here. <clears throat> the X axis pointed out of the face is right there. <clears throat> and so then just label negative 899. So actually, see how I drew these, these sigma X's going out? These sigma X's are actually going in. So draw them in and say 898. Got to draw them in on both sides. You only have to label one side. If you label one side, I'm assuming that the opposite side is the same value. <clears throat> but now don't, uh, don't draw them in and throw a negative in right here. Drawing them is the negative. It's almost like a double negative if, if you do that. So just draw them in and write the magnitude 898. Sigma y is now a positive... So that's why these arrows are pointed out and label them 598 PSI in one direction. And then <clears throat> tau x prime y prime is positive 605. Now, I think of positive as this upper right corner. Now that it's rotated, there's no like upper right, upper left, but stay with this corner, right? This corner has been rotated 30 degrees clockwise. So now it is this corner. So that is going to be my corn, my positive corner and so there this would be what 605 psi so if i ask you to draw them that's kind of what i'm looking for right there all right but one of the most important things is just labeling them correctly in the first place then plugging them in being very careful with positives and negatives see sometimes you got two negatives that make a positive right and then cosine then you got a cosine of negative 60, sine of negative 60, uh, that, because that theta was negative 30. But really, it's just plugging and um, doing a little bit of math. <clears throat>